Hi, I'm Ben from Benjamin Amka Studios. What I want to do is show you how to convert a cassette tape into a WAV file using a 3.5 millimeter stereo cable so that you can burn CDs of your audio. Okay, so what do you need? You're going to need a 3.5 millimeter stereo cable. These can be purchased at your local electronics store. Um, this one happens to be a six footer one. You can get them in many different links. Um, this one costs around eight bucks for a six foot long stereo cable. Make sure it's double ended. Um, same stereo plug on either end. You're going to need a computer that has a sound card with a line in port or jack. Either that or a, or a microphone jack. Most computers um, come with both. I'll show you both. Okay, you're going to need some sort of sound recording software. Most PCs come with Microsoft Sound Recorder. That's just your basic sound recording software that uh, is very easy to use. You can also use Audacity, which is a more advanced um, sound recorder, and it works um, very well. But I'll show you how to use both. Okay, the last thing you're going to need is a cassette player with a 1 8 inch either headphone jack or line out jack. If your cassette player doesn't have um, either of these, you're not going to be able to do it. But most most stereo systems have at least one of these. So uh, this one only has a headphone jack, so that's what we're going to use. I removed the speakers from this uh, cassette player because we're not going to use the speakers since we're not going to be able to hear them anyways. So, that's the cassette player. So, last thing we need is your cassette and we're ready to go. Now you need to connect your cassette player to your computer. To do this, plug one end of your stereo cable into your computer's sound card line in jack. Or if your computer has a microphone jack, you can plug into that instead. Plug the other end into your cassette player's headphone port. Insert the cassette that you want to record into your cassette player. Turn the power on both your cassette player and your computer, and you're ready to go. Alright, now you need to set your computer's sound card to whichever jack your stereo is connected to. To do that, click your control panel and select hardware and sound. Uh, under sound, select manage audio devices. And then you're going to want to select the recording tab. Now this will give you the options um, for whichever sound input uh, you're going to want to use. In this case, we have the microphone, which I'm using right now, obviously. And here we have the rear panel, 3.5 millimeter stereo jack. And here we have the front panel, 3.5 millimeter jack. We're going to be using the front panel because that's where I have my stereo plugged into. So we want to select whichever jack our input is going to be coming in through. So I'm going to select the front panel jack and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click set to default. Right now my microphone is set to default but we're going to want this to be our default because this is what's going to be picking up our sound. So I'm going to select the front input jack and set to default. And now that that's set I click OK. And now you're ready to record with your recording software.
I'm going to show you how to use um, Microsoft Sound Recorder. Open your Microsoft Sound Recorder and uh, one thing I'm going to mention here is you won't be able to hear any of the audio playing back through your computer so it's going to be a, it's going to be silent. It is going to be playing back but you won't be able to hear it. The only indication you're going to have that is going to be you'll be able to see it right here. So once you've Make sure you've selected your tape position and you have your tape already in the in your cassette player uh, beforehand, since you won't be able to hear it. All right, one thing to take note: whatever your stereo volume is set to will be the volume that is recording. So make sure you adjust your volume so that it's at a reasonable um, level. Because if it's too high, it'll be distorted, and if it's too low, you won't be able to hear it. So make sure you do that before you start recording. So when you're ready to record, um, click Start Recording, and push Play on your cassette player. And as you can see, the uh, audio is being recorded. When you're finished recording, click the stop button and title your recording. We'll call this my first recording. And click save. Now your uh, recording is ready to burn onto CD. So that's Microsoft Sound Recorder. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to use Audacity. Open Audacity. Um, you can get a free download of Audacity, and uh, here is the link for that. I downloaded my copy from this link. So, um, Audacity is a little more, a um, lot more options you can do, and it's a great uh, sound recording software. Uh, very easy to use for your basic recording. Okay, as we did in Microsoft Sound Recorder, make sure your tape position is is in the position you want it. Um, hit the record button and uh, the nice thing about this one is you'll be able to see your audio being recorded uh, here in the audio graph. So you can actually see when it's recording and when it's not recording, which is a very nice option. Okay, when you've uh, finished recording, click the stop button here, and uh, and you've captured your audio. All right, we want to export it as a WAV file. So open file and click export as WAV, and uh, title it whatever you want to title it. Um, we'll call this one my second recording and save so that's pretty well it very simple so now that you've got it converted into a wave file you can burn it onto CD or do whatever you want with it I hope some of you have found this tutorial helpful thanks for watching